Umm al-Mu'mineen Aisha radiyallahu anha says, never for two days in a row, never for two consecutive days did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ever eat barley. So they would mainly eat barley. If you, if you want to be healthy and live healthy, follow the diet and the sleeping pattern of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. True. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he, if he would eat all this talk about carbs and protein, so if any carbs he would eat, he would be barley. But even then, on occasions. He loved meat. But that's no reason for excessive consumption. Because Aisha radiallahu anha relates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as well as they, the family, would only occasionally and rarely receive meat. In one hadith of Bukhari, she says, for two whole months, for two whole months, the fire in the hearth of the home of the Messenger of Allah would not be lit because there was no solid food to cook. For two whole months. All our food was dates and water for two months and occasionally we would receive a gift of milk. That's why when they would have meat, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved meat, but Aisha radiallahu anha herself explains in one hadith that he would only occasionally come to them. This is why he loved meat. So in this hadith, Umm al muminin Aisha radiallahu anha says that for two consecutive days, never would the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa never did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam eat his fill from barley for two consecutive days until the day he left this world. And in another hadith related by other Sahaba radiallahu anhum, never did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fill his stomach. Never did he eat to his fill from barley or for meat, from meat, unless he was a guest with other people. So if he was eating with other people as a guest, then maybe he would eat a bit more. But normally he would never eat to his fill.